how to create a payment link for PayPal. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with creating your own payment links on PayPal. Now, the first thing a lot of people do ask is that why would I need a payment link other than just personal use? Well, payment links can actually serve a multitude of purposes. Payment links are an amazing way to start accepting payments on e-commerce website. So if you have a Wix website or a Google Sites website, wherever you're building your website, if you want to start accepting payments, you usually have to upgrade to premium plans. But with a PayPal payment link, you can accept payments for your products and for your services without having to upgrade to premium plans on your website builder. And it's a really easy and convenient way to get started with accepting payments for everyone. So let's jump right in. Now for this, I am using a PayPal business account and in my business account, you guys can see I have logged on already. Uh, I'm going to click on pay and get paid. And once you click on this, uh, you will see a drop down menu and in your drop down menu, it says get paid. And at the bottom, you have pay links and buttons. So we are looking to build a pay link. We're going to click on pay links and buttons over here. Once you choose that, you will see on the left whether you want to build a payment link and QR code or just a payment button like this. And you will see a preview on the right. So we're going to go with this one. Then you can click on settings to actually proceed with customization of your payment links and your payment buttons. So we have pay later, Wenmo, Apple Pay, and then standard credit card options. We are going to show our business name, our business logo. Then we also have stacked buttons, single button, and cart button. I think all of these are pretty decent settings, so I'm just gonna proceed. Then you're going to create your product or service. So whichever product or service you want to, uh, you know, sell with this payment link, you can add that. And so I am going to add a single product or service, and the product is going to be our mat, or let's say this is going to be our uh, makeup 101 teaching class and then after that we have the currency and the price let's say it's fifty dollars and then you can choose if you want to let customers uh, purchase multiple items at once so if you want them to add you know a larger quantity then i want to let customers buy multiple items and the max that they can buy is let's say 10 and let's say it's going to be 50 then i do not want to collect their shipping address because this is a uh, a consulting or like a service fee uh, for a particular service so i wouldn't need their shipping address if you are shipping out products then you are going to collect their shipping address if you are shipping out products you can also add your shipping fees as well as tax rates you can set your tax rates from your paypal settings or use a specific tax rate or select taxes not applicable then below that you have your customize your thank you so you can build a custom url or no auto return then after that once you have completed all of this you're going to click on build it on the top right and you guys can see this is how our payment link looks like. So now I can copy this link. And once I copy this link, I can go into my Google Sites website like so. And I can click on embed and I can embed by URL. And I'm going to paste in my payment link from PayPal and I'm going to click on insert. And now I have a direct link. Now if I publish my Google Sites website like this, I can click on view. When I click on view, you guys can see this is the payment link. And once I click on it, this redirects me to the payment option. And I can select how many people are signing up for this makeup teaching class. And then I can choose if I want to pay with uh, PayPal Pay Later, PayPal, Venmo, or a debit or credit card. So this is how you can get started with creating your own payment links. Now, payment links are just one simple feature of PayPal. Uh, alongside payment links, you also have payment buttons. So if you want, you can proceed with payment buttons as well. However, if you want to just manage any of your payment links, you can also manage them by going into your PayPal dashboard and you can go on ahead and proceed and view your pre-existing links as well. And if you want to change them, you can also change them. So we're going to go and we can go into our pay links and buttons. And if I want, I can build a new one as well. But we, I think this is pretty much fine. 
And you also can get a QR code if you want. So if you want a scannable code, which you can place at your salon or, you know, at any of your actual physical locations, you can do that as well. I'm going to go into saved links and buttons. And this is our button over here. Now, from there, I can, uh, this is our button over here, as you guys just saw. We can manage it and, you know, customize it, reload this page, open, and make sure to always verify your business information because if you do not verify your business information, you would not be able to actually accept those payments onto your PayPal account. Otherwise, it's just going to, you know, give your customers a error. And after that error, error they are not going to, you know, be able to purchase your service or your pay you with the particular payment link. Now, if you want, you can also create invoices, request money from a direct email address. Then you also have business profiles. QR codes specifically, which you can generate. You can also create a virtual terminal and build your own shopping cart buttons. Now, other than payment links and payment buttons, you can go into QR codes, which are another way for you to start accepting payments and, you know, making it really easy for you to accept payments. So we're gonna go into our business tools and then other than that this is the most manual method and sometimes for most people it's going to be a bit time consuming where you can send out individual invoices so having to send out individual invoices to everyone is a pretty manual procedure and if you're looking to integrate onto you know like a website like this where people can just click on it and then pay and then they would be registered or then they would receive their service or their product Having to generate custom invoices for that can be a bit redundant, but you can actually create estimates, items, customers, recurring series, all within invoicing. And you can add multiple different items or services together, as well as attach more information regarding the purchase or the sale that you have made. And this is so simple and easy. And PayPal provides you with the opportunity to easily be able to customize all of your payment needs and requirements, whether you're looking to upgrade to a more sufficient e-commerce platform or if you're looking to integrate PayPal into your already pre-existing uh, payment systems, it's going to serve you as a all-in-one tool for your financial management, whether even if you are using tools like Shopify. I have built my PayPal checkout on Shopify because it's so easy to use with our financial systems. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with PayPal. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say and have a great day ahead. Thanks for watching.